Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to A Clash of Kings. Now, when we left off, we had just defended at the Weeping Town once more, and that has earned us the title of the Weeping Reaper. I feel like that's pretty cool. Obviously, I haven't really done anything else since then, but I have scouted out Stumbleton, and there's 200 and something units there, which is kind of bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of bad. Now, we have Lisono Ma here. Well, technically, they disbanded the battle as soon as I appeared, because they don't want to fight us, obviously. As we can see here, we have Hal the Handsome, and we are going to be tackling him as well as one of the Freys as well. So, yes, let's do this. Obviously, we outnumber them rather severely, but they were attempting to gang up on Lisono Ma, and we cannot allow that because he is a very, very loyal ally to us, and I'm very happy to have him on our side. So, I'm wanting to help him out a little bit, obviously. So, let's see what happens here. Now, I do have an overwhelming amount of cavalry and archers now. Not many infantry anymore. Used to have a lot of Pentoshi two-handers, but not, not really anymore, no. They all perished in certain situations, and I don't really have any cohoric guardsmen anymore either. So I'm basically only using Targaryen units now for the most part. So I'm a little bit worried about killing... Oh, no. Okay, well, never mind. Oh, well, well, we were able to kill the horse at least, and we were able to kill Edwin Frey and then stumble. Because, of course. <laughs> of course, yes. As soon as we actually do something amazing, it's a stumble, and there you go. There's another stumble after killing a Riverlands Knight, of course. Yeah, that's exactly what we get, isn't it? Okay, so let's go. Go, go on. Yes, yeah, there we go. Kill him. There we are. Now, what I'm very much wanting to do is I would very much like to try and get a great sword. I know many of you have given me suggestions in the comments, and thank you very much for that. That's very good. But, uh, yes, that's the thing. I did attempt to get, what is it, Heartsbane, I think? Heartsbane from Randall Tarly or something along those lines? Yes, I think. Yeah, I did attempt to do that. Unfortunately, the problem with it is that he managed to escape. If he hadn't managed to escape, then I would have been able to take him prisoner, and then potentially I would have been able to ask him or threaten him or whatever the case may be in the prisoner management screen, and then I would have been able to, well, hopefully get the weapon like that. You know, Prophecy of Pendor style, in other words. Whenever you ca capture a liege or something along those lines, or maybe a unique spawn, you can talk to them, and then that kind of thing actually happens. So, yes. It would be pretty cool if we could actually do something like that in the future, but obviously the Reach is actually very, very weak right now, and that's probably why the Riverlands are coming in here, because they really they really just want to stick the knife in, don't they? They really want to try and be like, hmm, yes, okay, so you're you're doing quite well against the Reach right now, and you've already eliminated the Stormlands, so we're gonna we're gonna throw a spanner in the works, and that's exactly what they're doing. Which is not very nice of them, obviously. Not very nice at all. But they are they are actually very strong right now. I would actually say that they might actually be the strongest faction in the game right now, apart from maybe Bravos, because Bravos is doing a very good job on Essos, but probably doesn't have as much territory because Essos is just smaller in general than Westeros. But anyway, the point is is that we do have to be a little bit cautious about these Riverlanders, don't we? Yes, we do, because they have two-handers, as you can see here, and that's exactly the problem, because, ow! Yes, that is exactly the reason. They are using scythes. Pretty sure they're using two-handed scythes, and they are very, very good weapons. I've used one of those in the past, and I really enjoyed using it, because it has good reach, it's pretty fast, and it deals a lot of damage. So that's primarily the reason why you would want to use one of those, obviously. It deals a lot of damage, yes. And, oh yes, I did forget to tell... Ah, I forgot to tell Carver to follow me. Where is he? I don't even know where he is, but we're going to have to try and get our archers over here very, very quickly indeed, because otherwise all of our cavalry and things are going to die quite fast. But, you know what? The Riverlands reminds me of the Iron Islands with their unit composition, because the Iron Islands also have axemen rather than... Men at arms. Is it? Do they? Do they have men at arms? I don't think they do in actual fact. So, that's actually kind of. Oh my. Oh wow. That's. That's probably not good. This is probably not good at all. No. This is not good at all. Oh my. Okay. Well, I think. This is where we might actually perish. We might perish here. 
Gotta say that they're doing a very, very good job at defending themselves. Where is Carver? Where are you? I don't even know where he is. He's, is he already dead? I hope not. I don't think so somehow. I mean, he's pretty, pretty tough now. He has over 70 HP. So, I don't think he is dead, but I don't know where he is. So, <laughs> oh, that's, that's kind of sad. Anyway, Alan is, oh, Alan is going in there. Yes, let's help him. Let's help Alan. Come on, Alan, let's do this. Yes, yes. Okay, no, no, I cannot be killed. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. Thank you very much. Okay, I found that the only thing that can actually damage us with these archers is a thrusting attack. So I'm going to be very wary of thrusting. Never mind. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm going to be very wary of thrusting. Let me just stop. Stop there, shall I? Yes. Let me just stop there and let your imagination run wild because that's exactly yeah, that's exactly what happened. Ah, yes, that was wonderful. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful. But. At least we have an archery battle now, which is kind of cool, even though they have the high ground, which is making things a whole lot easier for them. And we do have a couple of cavalry coming up here as well. But I gotta say, the Riverlands and Longbowmen are actually not that bad either. So I actually now am not very surprised that they have taken so much of the territory. Oh, and there's Carver. Finally, Carver is running in there. Oh, okay. I don't even know where he was. He was probably just snacking on something, but yes, yeah, so something or someone. Yeah, that seems to be the case, but as you can see, he's just absolutely destroying everything. Oh, yes, that's what we like to see. Oh, wh where was he when I needed him? That's what I want to know. I mean, look, he has no damage. He's taken no damage whatsoever, so I have no idea where he was. Well, maybe he was just taking a long time to run across the battlefield, because obviously he doesn't have as much athletic skill as we do, as far as I'm aware. But yes, Targaryen Knights, we lost eight of those. That is pretty ouch. That is pretty ouch, i got to say. And, well, our allies obviously lost quite a few Golden Company men-at-arms, but obviously they're not as valuable, I would say. So yes, Carver killed seven, Alan killed six, and I killed, well, technically wounded, 35. Oh. Okay, we can just tell everyone to go in there and that's yes that's that's perfectly fine oh they managed to escape really come on now i'm actually kind of surprised about that okay anyway we now have the opportunity to take a couple of stormlands units which is i, I guess okay to do because obviously they are eliminated and they can no longer pose a morale deficit threat or anything to our army so we should be able to take it no problem and obviously we could take one armed villager <laughs> yes exactly okay so now we can capture as many forces as we so desire. I still have a huge amount of prisoners in the garrison, by the way, at Crow's Nest. Still not sold them, but I guess it's just an investment, isn't it? It's just a little bit of an investment there. So, let's have a look. Is there anything else here? No, I don't really want to take anything there. So, as you can see, we are right outside Felwood. I, yes, as you can see, we can actually see Stumble uh, Stumbleton from here, in actual fact. So, I didn't even need to go over there, because our spotting skill is apparently insane. Isn't it? No, it's not. Or, okay. Well, that's that's kind of weird. It's kind of weird how we can see it from here. Okay, well, never mind. I suppose it's daytime and everything, so it's perfectly okay to do that. But yes, we are going to now rest up for a little bit, and we're going to see what happens, because obviously I don't really... Uh, yes, I'm going to accept the offer there. 5,000, really, you can't really decline that, I would say. Ooh, Tyrosh has declared war against Lys. Obviously, they are... Oh, they are not doing well. Tyrosh is not doing well at all, in actual fact. They only have Torturer's Deep. That is the only thing they have. Otherwise, Pentos has taken Grey Gallows, which is their other fief, obviously. Uh, it was, anyway. And Bravos obviously has Tyrosh itself, and Myrrh is taking... Last Refuge, and wow, it's actually all kicking off here. So it seems as though it, it, Essos is going to come down to probably Norvos. Yeah, Norvos and Bravos, I think. Norvos is actually seeming very, very strong right now as well. So I think it's probably going to be Bravos versus Norvos over there. As you see, it's actually very much so in that case, in that case, and... Pentos is not really doing much because Bravos has taken Pentos, hilariously enough. And Rios was obviously Pentos already, but 
Wow, okay, there's a lot going on there. A lot going on there. And if we go across here... Oh, wow, Dawn is losing. As you can see, Dawn is losing this border dispute over here. And there, there are a lot of bottlenecks here as well, which is kind of cool. I, I quite like that, but they really should be pushing forward and taking these things right here. But obviously, I can't tell the AI to do that, can I? No, I can't tell them to do that or anything. So, yeah, that's kind of sad. Anyway... We are now going to take a look at our units, see if we're needing to level anyone up. Do we? Some. Some of them need levels, so I suppose that's fine. Some more Targaryen Knights. I literally only have five Targaryen Knights. 83 elite Targaryen Longbowmen, and yeah, that's it's kind of amusing. Okay, so are we going to take Stumbleton back? Maybe. Should I, should I take it off screen? Probably. Alright, so yes, I was actually able to take Stumbleton pretty easily, in actual fact. I didn't lose too many, and uh, well, uh, that's the thing. I, I, I gathered a couple of the prisoners there, and it was all very fine and dandy, and no one turned up to actually compete against it. So, yeah, I've put in a request to Aegon to actually be awarded it, obviously, and now we have the Reach, once again. I am pretty sure these are from the Reach, at least. I saw some... I saw some of their names, I think. So, anyway, let's have a look here. Okay, so we have... A ladder. Yes, we do. And I have 68 arrows, and I'm going to make good use of them by firing from the side here, because that is not cheating at all. No, it's not cheating at all, because this gives me <laughs> an absolutely easy time of things. Which is amazing, in my opinion. Oh, there's Randall Tarly as well. Ooh, that's actually very good. I don't know whether we'll be able to take him prisoner from this. That would be kind of sad if we're not able to, but... Ah, uh, well, well, we'll try. We'll try. You never know. But as you can see, the headshots are flowing freely. And... Oh, wow. It's actually kind of amusing to see. Considering we have so many archers, there's no way... Are they, are they going to be able to do this? I don't know. That's the thing. Are they going to be able to... Oh, Drollo has advanced in level. That's good. It's good to see. Where is Carver, though? Where is Carver? I, uh, that's literally all I want to know every single battle, because he is technically our bodyguard, and I feel like he should be doing his job. But I suppose if I don't tell him, then, well, he's probably just not, not going to listen, is he? No. Well, I think it's probably best that he's on the front line anyway, and I'm actually doing a terrible job at shooting these things now. There we go. Okay, a little bit better. Okay, well, if I can just weaken the enemy, then I think that's pretty good. And so, even if I get a body shot, that's perfectly fine. I don't really need to get headshots all the time. Oh, who's that? Ah, oh, that's a... Ah, oh, that's a northern. Oh, elite northern man-at-arms. Oh, I haven't seen their armor in quite some time. So, it seemed like quite an exotic eunuch to me, but... Yeah, there we go. Come on, kill them. Kill them all. Yes. Oh, we have we actually have a wildling vassal here as well. Oh, wow. Apparently everyone has joined the Reach. I don't know why, though. Why would, why would you join the Reach? Why wouldn't you join House Targaryen? I feel like it should have been a good idea to join, to join that, but, well, I suppose not. Not right now, anyway. I think the Riverlands and the Reach are much more likely to gain people joining them. So that's kind of sad, I gotta say. It's pretty sad. But at least we are killing as many as possible here, and there we go. Okay, so I can actually get a couple more arrows here from the wall, but for the most part, I'm not going to be able to. Wait, can I can I get that? Yes, yes. Okay, oh, I was hoping for stacked arrows or something along those lines. Oh, Carver is now at the front. That's great. Okay, so he's going to be absolutely beasting over here. So, yeah, I guess... With this, I am going to be cutting away, and we're going to see how long this is going to take. It's probably going to be quite a while, isn't it? Alright, so there it is. An absolute devastating victory for us, and <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised because, well... I, I didn't think we were gonna I didn't think we were gonna make that really. I mean at one point they actually did breach the walls a little bit. As you can see, they killed fifteen of our longbowmen there. But otherwise that was it. That was basically it. 
And we killed 577 of them. I killed 170 just by standing at the bottleneck and constantly swinging. Now, the reason I did that, instead of just absolutely taking a break and just resting while everything happened, is because it would have taken double the time to actually get through that siege defense. Because if I don't do anything, then my units are just... Oh, they're, they're very bad at doing things by themselves. So, yeah, I decided to do that. Oh, yes, also, I've read your comments regarding combat speed, and apparently it only makes a difference on the world map, basically. So the overworld map, and if an AI is in battle, then it's going to speed up that particular battle instead of actually being any sort of relevance to the combat scenario if you are actually in the battle yourself so it only affects the AI in that regard so thank you very much for letting me know about that because I could swear that in Prophecy of Pendor in one of the early versions the combat speed did actually improve the combat actions of everyone in the battles I could swear that I remember that but maybe it is just something that, I, I don't know, maybe I was fighting an overwhelming enemy that just seemed to be moving very fast or something along those lines, but I could remember trying out those difficulty options and I don't know. But anyway, yes, we were able to do that very, very well indeed, and aha, hello. Hello there, yes, you are going to be mine. Wow, okay, so we had Riverlands, Reach, and North all here, apparently, which is absolutely insane in my opinion. Absolutely insane. Okay, so taking this guy and oh, yes! Yes, I think we have the, I think we have the weapon. I think we do. You are my prisoner now. Yes, you are. Okay, Egon and we're going to be rescuing him. Apparently he is, oh, he's part of Dawn now. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's nice. And we do have a couple of these guys that we, I, th I think we'll be taking them anyway. I don't think they're going to be very useful, but I'm going to take them Nevertheless, just in case. And, yeah, I'm just going to be taking random prisoners, obviously. But, yeah, there's a huge amount here that I could take. But, obviously, I don't have enough space for that. But we're going to be heading onward. Okay, Masterwork Arming Sword. No, there, there doesn't seem to be really anything there that I want. So, okay, there it is. Stumbleton has been defended once again. And I'm going to actually try to garrison it a little bit better this time. As long as Aegon gives it to us. Obviously, we don't quite know whether he will. I I very much hope he will. If he doesn't, I'm going to be very, very disappointed. So I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. But anyway, we're going to speak to Randall Tarly right now. Yes. You carry the Valyrian sword, Heartsbane. What of it? I desire the sword. Yes, we lose renown, honor, and he now hates us. I am your prisoner, do as you will, but know this, you cur. I will take it back, and I will see you strung up. Hmm. Yes, I'm sure you will. So there it is. There is Heartsbane. That's pretty good, in my opinion. It, see, now, the one, thing, the one thing that it doesn't do, it doesn't crush through blocks, which is exactly what I love about our two-handed mace right now. So that's kind of sad. It does have a bonus against shields, though. And it has absolutely amazing damage and speed and basically everything. So we're going to try using that for the foreseeable future. And we, we may switch back to Coldbringer at a, another point. But yes, we're going we're gonna to see what's going on with that. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.